Welcome back to Data Structure Laboratory. In today's class, let us start with the fourth lab experiment. Let me read out the problem statement. Design, develop and implement a program in C for converting infix expression into postfix expression. The program should support expressions with or without parentheses. It has to support the primitive arithmetic operators such as plus minus star division modulus and power function. The expression may contain operands with either alphabets or numbers. Meaning is either A plus B where AB is alphabet or 2 plus 3 where 2 and 3 is a number. So both type of expression the program should support. Let us first understand what is infix expression. It is an arithmetic expression where operator is between operands. So A, A plus B is an infix expression. What is a corresponding postfix expression now? We have operator which comes after operands. So I have AB plus. So who is going to convert this? Stack is a data structure which converts infix expression into postfix expression. It is a major application of stack. Now let us first understand what is the logic of this. Now see what we are going to do in this program is we are going to scan the infix expression character by character. Character can be either opening bracket or closing bracket or else it can be operand or else it can be operator. That's it. So we are going to encounter four different characters in the input expression. So whenever any of these character appear, what has to be done? That we will understand. We will understand the logic, then we will jump to the uh, simple example, then we will directly uh, go to the program. This is the best way to understand any program. See, whenever you are scanning the infix expression, when the infix expression is opening bracket, what we do is we directly push it onto the stack. Simple. When the input expression is operand, we send that operand directly to the output variable postfix. So what is postfix? It is a output variable where initially it will be having nothing. When we start reading the character one by one, we start generating it. We, we get output in the variable postfix. That's it, right? Now next, when you encounter operator, what we have to do is, as long as priority of input symbol is less than priority of top of the stack, you are going to pop a value from the stack and it will be sent to the output variable postfix and then we push the same operator onto the stack. That's it. Last possibility is when you encounter closing bracket in the input symbol, what has to be done? See, whenever we have a closing bracket, till the symbol opening bracket comes in the stack, we are going to pop all the values from the stack and we copy them as it is to the output variable. Okay, so either opening bracket may appear in the input symbol or operand may appear, operator may appear or closing bracket may appear. So what logic has to be implemented we have seen here, right? So based on these four cases, we have a main logic of fourth program. Let me take a simple example and then we can jump here. Now see, Whenever we have arithmetic expression, we have to work according to the priority of those operator. So what is the priority now? I'll take hash as a symbol to just understand whether stack is empty or not. So whenever hash is a symbol, what is its uh, priority? Zero. When it is opening bracket, priority is one. When plus and minus priority is two. When it is multiplication, division or modulus operator, its priority is 3. When it is a power function, priority is 4. When it is operand, its priority is 8. You can see out of all the arithmetic operators, power function has got highest priority. Next highest priority is for multiplication, division and modulus. Then comes plus and minus. That's it, right? So these are the possible priority values we have. Let me just take a simple example and trace this program, right? What is the inputs uh, infix expression I have? Opening bracket, A plus, opening bracket, B star C, closing bracket, closing bracket, right? So the corresponding postfix expression will be, if you see this expression, you can directly tell it is ABC star plus. 
star is having highest priority that is the reason why star will be you know evaluated first then we get plus right so let us uh, see how this input expression can be converted into postfix expression in this program what we do is we initialize hash in the stack so hash will go and sit in the stack this is a character just to uh, check it is the last character on the stack right so we push hash onto the stack hash will be the content on the stack i'll start reading the symbols one by one i'll read the first symbol what is the first symbol i have opening bracket so according to our logic when it is opening bracket we have to push it onto the stack so opening bracket will directly go and sit in the stack read next symbol from the input what is the next symbol i have a what is a it is a operand when it is operand i have to directly copy this operand to the postfix so i got a as a output the first output character in the postfix is a so the stack content will remain as it is now read next symbol what is the next symbol i have plus so what is plus plus is a operator when it is operator what our logic says as long as priority of top of the stack is greater than priority of input symbol what is a priority value for plus it is 2 what is a priority of uh, symbol on the stack what is there in the symbol on the stack it is opening bracket right so condition fails when condition fails just push plus onto the stack when you push plus onto the stack this is a, a content of the stack we have hash opening bracket plus and then already we have generated one character as a output right so read next character what is the next character we have opening bracket when it is opening bracket we are directly push that opening bracket onto the stack this is the content of the stack we get a will remain as it is in the output variable now after pushing opening bracket onto the stack read next character what is the next character b what is b it is operand when it is operand you have to send it directly to the postfix so you can see after a i'll get b as a output expression so this column i am going to get output final output right so what is a uh, so far generated output a b now after processing b you can read next character what is the next character star what is star it is a operator now compare priority of top of the stack and priority of star what is priority of star 3 what is the priority of opening bracket 0 condition fails push a star onto the stack so this is what i get onto the stack so already these contents were there and star will go and sit on top of that right now read next character from the input what is the next character we have c what is c operand send directly to the output expression so i got ebc now right now read after processing c read next character what is the next character closing bracket so whenever closing bracket comes we are going to pop all the values from the stack till we reach opening bracket so what are the values we have on the stack i have just star delete it send it to the postfix expression i get abc star now after deleting star what is the next character i have nothing i have opening bracket is there so you can just ignore that opening bracket for ignoring this opening bracket also we have logic in the program right so what is that we got in this step we just deleted star from the stack we sent that star onto the postfix expression we got the output abc star so after processing this closing bracket go for next uh, character what is the next character one more closing bracket so whenever one more closing bracket is there till we reach opening bracket whatever content is there on the stack delete it send it to the postfix right so what is the character we have plus delete it send it to the output expression so i get abc star plus so after deleting plus what is the next content i have opening bracket so whenever opening bracket comes just ignore it what is the next symbol i have hash right so what is the content of the stack now hash now read next input symbol there is nothing in the input symbol stop it where is the output you got you got output here abc star plus so this is uh, the uh, tracing of the program so we have four different cases so based on those 
four cases based on the priority value we have got program uh, fourth program implemented now see there are two operations which we do continuously one is pushing another is pop right so we are going to use these functions repeatedly so we need to define these uh, functions separately now let me start with a problem uh, program directly we have taken a size of the stack as 50 so i have taken a stack of type character because i am going to store either opening bracket plus minus star operand operands it can be alphabet or number right so whatever we are going to store in the stack it will be a character so we have taken a stack of type character initialize talk to minus one so implement uh, two primitive operations push and pop what is the name of this function push right what is the input you are going to send any character so whatever character you are sending it to push that will be stored on top of the stack that's it what is what is one line statement now increment top by one whichever lo location top points that location in the yes you are going to store the element okay so pushing happens by incrementation of top simple what is pop now it is going to return any character which is pointed by top so there is a return type called char here right so return yes of top then decrement top by one so this is one line implementation of pop this is one line implementation of push right so after these two primitive function i have one more function which is a function that returns priority of any character see what is the name of the function pr what is the return type integer what is the input uh, value for this element right so take switch when the element is hash return zero when the element is opening bracket return one when the element is plus or minus return two when the element is star division modulus return three when the element is power function return four so what function it is whatever table we have uh, seen here see this table it is priority table we have implemented by a function with the name pr so what are the three functions we are going to use here one is push second is pop and third one is pr function so with this basic three functions it will be so easy to convert infix expression into postfix expression let us start with the logic now this is a main program to store the input expression we have taken infix where we are going to generate the output postfix we are going to read one character at a time so i have taken a variable with the name ch element is also there i i need an index value to read the values one after other from infix and store those processed character in a postfix so i have a index value i for reading the value from infix and we have an index value k to store the value into postfix right so these are the variables we are going to use in this program now when you compile and run this program it will ask read a infix expression i am going to type a plus b or whatever example we have taken that example we will type so where that uh, input expression will go and set infix right what is the first thing we do we are going to push hash onto the stack so i just called a function push and the input symbol is hash so this hash will go and sit in the stack this is the first operation that we do you just correlate this statement with the example we traced right so it will become so easy to understand this program now what we are going to do after pushing hash we are continuously going to scan the infix expression character by character and then we are going to process that character based on four different things whether it is opening bracket whether it is operand whether it is operator whether it is closing bracket right so what i do now what is i value zero read zeroth location of infix right store it in ch if it is not end of the input you check whether it is opening bracket if it is opening bracket push it onto the stack so we have just called push 
and we have sent opening bracket as a input to push operation what push will do it will store this opening bracket onto the stack else if the character is alphabet or number means it is operand if it is operand send that operand directly to the output expression postfix after storing it increment index value k i just now told k will correspond to output expression i will correspond to input expression else if the red character is closing bracket what i should do is till i reach opening bracket in the top of the stack see while loop is there while means continuously till you reach opening bracket in the stack delete all the values send it to postfix so this line will be executed till this condition is true please try to understand there are four things we have to do when opening bracket comes what to do when closing bracket comes what to do when there is a you know operand what has to be done when it is a operator what has to be done so when opening bracket comes push it onto stack when operand comes send that operand to output expression when closing bracket comes till we reach opening bracket in the top of the stack delete all the values send it to postfix w once it terminates delete a value and store it in element right so you can see when the input is opening bracket a plus b output we get a b plus opening and closing bracket will be disappeared from the output this line makes opening and closing bracket removed from the input expression clear now the last option is when you have operator what has to be done as long as say while loop is there as long as priority of top of the stack is greater than equal to priority of input symbol delete a value send it to postfix then say this line will repeat continuously whenever this condition fails push that operator onto the stack simple right so any of these four conditions will be executed so whenever while loop terminates when s of top is not equal to hash delete all the values from the stack send it to postfix expression then store null character as a last character of postfix see this this uh, line is very very important if you miss this line you cannot see the output expression right then you can print what is a infix expression what is a corresponding output expression you can just run the program so when you run this program i am going to give this as a input expression right this is my input expression opening bracket a plus b star c div divided by d power 5 modulus 1 what is the output expression i got postfix expression a b plus c star d phi power function division 1 modulus right so you can try giving any of the input expression you see that you get a proper output thank you